than oh that. Oh my gosh. Look at that cityscape in the background. What are your this thoughts? This is pretty impressive. I'm kind of blown away and regretting we're only here one day. Isn't that awesome? Wow. And we ordered it, of course. We have to have the Singapore sling. Yes. <laughs> it's as big as your head. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I love it. Greetings, adventurers. It's David and Heather here, the Singapore Express, and today we are headed out on staycation. We have our suitcases ready. Show me your suitcase. Oh, it's it's down there. And uh, yeah, we're headed to the Marina Bay Sands today, and we're spending a night there. And we want to show you what that's all about and all the fun that is to be had there. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We are finally here. I've been wanting to come to this hotel uh, since we moved here, but we haven't really made, had an excuse to do it. But we were like, we need a vacation. Let's do this. So we made it. We are at the Marita Bay Sands, and I am excited for a fun day of adventure in here and exploring. So a little bit about the process to get in here. It's not uh, like it is normally during non-COVID times. So we had to schedule uh, in advance, uh, obviously, that we were coming here. Um, we had to schedule a check-in time between a, in a 30-minute window, because they're limiting the number of people that are in the lobby. Uh, we had to schedule time, they have an infinity pool, and so we had to schedule an hour and 15 minute time slot that we're allowed to be in the pool. Uh, what else did we have to do? Health declaration. Yeah, health declaration form. Right, we are in line to check in and uh, yeah they as you can see not a lot of people here they are keeping it the numbers low and uh, keeping it nice and safe here for us okay so we got upgraded because this is our first time here and they want to make a good impression so we got an end uh, end of the aisle uh, room and so it's here it's got a window on two sides. Let's check out the room. Whoa, turn, get the lights on. Working on it. Get the lights on, we need <laughs> lights. On it. We need lights. Gotta put it in there. Oh, look, check it out. Gosh. Oh my gosh. So, we have a nice little table seating area oh, here. Let's, let's zip over. We've got a big TV. Look at the view, gardens by the bay, like she said. Oh yeah, race track. We can see a little of the F1 track and we see a little bit of uh, the Singapore Flyer. We can look out over the water. Wow, this is so amazing. Okay, um, I shouldn't get caught up here just with that. Let's look at the rest of the room while we are here, while it's fresh, before I've made a mess of it. <laughs> And let's check out the bathroom. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that bathroom. Oh, fancy tub. I'm not usually a tub guy, but that's a pretty nice tub. And we have a shower. Oh, that's not a shower. That is a toilet. This would be a shower. I do know the difference between a shower and a toilet. They have different purposes. Okay, nice shower. Walk-in closet. Walk-in closet in a hotel room. I don't think I've ever had a walk-in closet in a hotel. That is awesome. But we can each have our own TV. No way, his and her TVs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this living room. Oh my gosh, and the view from here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, so amazing. We are on the 47th floor, so we have, we're ways up. What, Heather, I need, I need to get impressions of this. What are this your thoughts? This is pretty impressive. I'm kind of blown away and regretting we're only here one day because... Oh my gosh. Cool. It is super cool. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder, wow, we probably should have been here more than one night, but <laughs> this is so amazing. This is pretty exciting. And yeah, I think I showed the rest of this, but here is. Do. This is my first time here at the Marina Bay Sands, so we thought we should just start out by checking out all that there is to offer here, because they've got a lot of stuff going on. 
They have restaurants, plenty of gift shops, and lots of shopping here. This seating area is really interesting. Look at this. We have all these waves of glass, and it's nicely lit. Really cool seating area. Plenty of high-end shopping down here for us. <laughs> Heather, do you think you could find any good could, ways to spend money? I think I could get used to the fire things in life. <laughs> that would no problem. So much shopping. Have you seen a shop yet that you would love to be shopping at? Uh, just a couple. Any Anyone in particular? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Armani, Montblanc, <laughs> you know. The usual. <laughs> Tiffany. Oh gosh. I might be broke by the end of this stay. <laughs> I am a big fan of lights, and you can see there are some lights hanging from the ceiling here. And then if you look down, there are some interactive lights where you can touch them, you can stand on the lights, and they interact and re react to what it is that you're doing. So when you touch the lights, they move away and they follow you and look at that. It's almost like schools of fish that they're working with there. That is awesome. Nice little spot to stop for some tea. I don't know that we're thirsty right now, but clearly a popular destination. And right in the middle of this mall area, there is this pool and you can take a gondola ride through this. Isn't that awesome? Wow, so cool. And this waterway goes a long way. It just keeps going and going. And you can see down here, everybody queuing up to take their rides, hop in the boat and then they can come across. Oh, there's Heather. And then over here, there they go. I just love these little gondola rides. They look like so much fun. You can see there are a lot of families here out enjoying them together. Uh, no idea how much they cost, but it's gotta be fun. Um, I don't know, maybe sometime we'll check it out. Maybe if we ever have visitors, it'd be a fun place to bring kids that visit. Okay, we made it into, we're in the casino at Marina Bay Sands, and this was kind of an interesting process getting in here because we had to go into a separate line as foreigners. Um, locals have to pay in order to enter. I don't remember what the cost is, but a fair amount. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the floor here, see what there is. Okay, so we played a little bit at the casino. I would, unfortunately, I would, unfortunately, I was not allowed to take video. They didn't want me taking any video in there, probably a security precaution. But we did play a little video roulette. How'd we do? Not good. Not good at all. But hey, it was still fun. Yeah, we were even up a dollar at one point. Yeah, it was not our lucky day. That was the first spin we were up a dollar, <laughs> and then it just disappeared. But anyway, we, we got to check out the casino. And uh, yeah, what else did we learn about the casino that was kind of interesting? They allow smoking there. And I don't think I've seen anywhere else in Singapore where you can smoke indoors other than here at the casino. Have you? No. So that was interesting. I mentioned it's it costs money as a Singaporean to come in. We were free to go in since uh, we're foreigners. They're, they have no problem taking foreigner money. Uh, foreigners can develop bad habits, but locals, <laughs> no. No bad habits for locals. All right, let's move on to the next. Well, we have, we're now doing happy hour here at C'est La Vie at the top of the Maria Bay Sands. And we ordered, of course. We have to have the Singapore sling. Yes. <laughs> so we're enjoying these beverages. And as Beautiful you, view, it's super hot. And as you can see, we're here early. It's like four o'clock and so nobody's here really yet. Uh, but it is a beautiful view. Look at that view, you can't beat it. And uh, yeah, right at the rooftop. I love it. So let's enjoy some drinks, shall we? Cheers. Mm. 
This is the bow of the quote-unquote ship. And you can see, so this is the front of the hotel. Looking out. Such a great view. What are your thoughts on this view, Heather? Pretty awesome view. I love oh. it. Not gonna get tired of this. Tonight's plan is dinner at Lavo, overlooking the city from the top of top of the restaurant here, top of the hotel. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. So we are at the rear of the hotel, and uh, here at Lavo, you can see we are seated outside. There's Heather back there, and, and uh, we are waiting for drinks to arrive. So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like here from up top. Here is the west facing side and it looks like it's all reserved so we're not sitting over here tonight. Sunset side. But look at that, how beautiful is this? Absolutely gorgeous. see here at the restaurant sun's going down so beautiful top of the world over here uh, so the wine here at Lavo my favorite person sunset view of the sea oh. let's get better than this it is a great night together and uh, yeah we are loving it can't wait for dinner food has arrived what, what did you get did you get anything I good I got the penne alla vodka super excited all right, and I got the, what, what is this called? Cavatelli. <laughs> Cavatelli. Cavatelli and uh, Bellinese, and it looks amazing. I can't wait. Let's eat. Let's eat it. Okay, well, it's evening. We are leaving dinner, and I just thought we'd show you some of the lights down here in Singapore now after the sunset. Um, isn't that beautiful? Just, you see this, the city alive, you see the ships out there, all lit up. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Here is the nighttime view from our hotel window. Such a beautiful view of the bay. The city all lit up, so cool. We are about ready to head into the pool and so you can see they are lining us up here and we have to wait until our time to go in and then they have turnstiles, got to scan our key card. Um, it's very tight control getting in here. Well, we got through the turnstiles and now we are in this staging area. How about that? So they've got us locked back behind here. You can see they've got a barricade and uh, we're killing about 10 minutes until it's our official start time. So we're gonna get full coverage here. Every minute that we can get in here, we're getting. Here we are, look at the pool, right as people are just starting to get in. Uh, one of the advantages of being here during COVID times is that they are limiting the number of people that can enter the pool. And so normally it would be hard to even get a spot, I'm told, along the edge here. And uh, we've got it. All right, we are here We're in the here. pool. This is what this we is came for. Pool. Look at this. What's more Singapore than this? Oh my gosh. Look at that cityscape in the background. This is where it's at. This is the reason you come to Singapore is for this view, uh, for this pool. This is what it's all about. Oh my gosh, I can't talk this up enough. It is so awesome. How are you liking the pool, Heather? It's amazing. Oh my gosh. There is so much. It, I know. I, it's ter You know, COVID's bad because we had to schedule a time and we only get like an hour, 15 minutes here. But it's nice because we have so much of the pool to ourselves. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. And I gotta say, this view never gets old. Look at that city. I mean, I've showed you the city already, but 
seriously, like, it never gets old. I am probably going to include more video of this than I should in this video, but look at this. You want to see this, don't you? I mean, this is, this is why you're watching this video, is for this shot. So, I'm giving you the shot. All right, we are back at the pool today. Uh, it is uh, like 9 a.m. and we have a 9 a.m. time. It is probably easier to see here during the day, but it's not nearly as scenic. I think, hey, that, that's pretty scenic. <laughs> You're looking scenic. What are your thoughts com of daytime compared to what we saw last night? I don't know, last night was pretty awesome, but it was our first time too, so. Right, it's right. It's both pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's easier to certainly get video but I uh, here at night if you or have at to day. Choose, you have to come at night. Yeah, night, night is certainly more scenic. I would highly recommend night over day. I understand uh, it might be hard staying up with the kids and all that, but this is well, it's scenic any time of day. <laughs> it's beautiful. One thing I didn't originally realize uh, before coming here was that there are three pools up here. So this big. Pool, rooftop pool is divided into three sections. So there's the section back there, there's this middle section, and then there is that section back there. And they have us uh, designated to a pool here. Um, we're not allowed to switch between the three uh, because we're doing uh, uh, a trace together check-ins into the pool that we're in, and then we can't move uh, between pools. So we're here for the duration of our hour and 15. It was the same way last night, but uh, I wasn't really able to show very easily the, the three different pools. So now you see the three pools. All right, so here's the infinity pool and it looks like it goes on forever and ever all the way to the edge. But there's a dirty little secret. Oh, that's right. It doesn't. There is a big water catch here. And even beyond that, there is a safety area. So it is darn near impossible to fall off the edge of this. It's all an optical illusion. I hate to burst your bubble, people, but it's still cool, but it's very, very safe. I just have to show you how few people are in this pool. Look at this. Like. When are you going to be at the Marina Bay Sands rooftop pool here, infinity pool, and have pretty much nobody here? This is just wild. Super popular pool in normal times. Nobody is really here. Well, that concludes our time here at the pool. Two great sessions. You had a good time? Yes, yeah, super fun. Oh awesome man, pool. I loved it. Uh, highly recommend you checking out the pool. Um, short but sweet a lot of fun so thanks for joining us on this pool adventure we are now here at the black tap uh, grill what would you call it craft burgers and beer restaurant and we are gonna get a craft burger probably I don't know are we getting a beer probably not probably not probably not but we're getting a craft burger what else are we getting a crazy shake oh crazy shakes yeah, they have, this place is known for having some really amazing shakes that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, really big, really elaborate, and we're gonna check one of them out. Uh, they're pretty big, so I don't think we're gonna be able to handle one each. <laughs> the food has arrived. Yay. It looks good. I got the Mexico City burger. You can see it's got jalapenos, a chipotle sauce, and uh, a big onion ring on it. And what'd you get? I got the Texan, so it's got Bacon, onion ring, and barbecue sauce, Ooh. and I went with large onion rings. <laughs> those are massive onion rings. Look at the size of those onion rings. <laughs> anyway, we are excited to jump into this, so we will catch you up at, on the flip side. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> that looks amazing. It's as big as your head. <laughs> Is it? Side by side? I love it. Oh, so what did you get here, Heather? This is the Cookies and Cream Supreme. It's an Oreo shake with a little bit of a... Oh my gosh. Look at that? that. Look at that ice cream sandwich. <laughs> That's like an Oreo ice cream sandwich. It looks so, so a bit good. Of whipped cream on top. Yeah, a small cookies. amount. Oh, could you just have a little taste and tell us what it's like? 
Mm. Oh, is it to die for? It's really thick because it's actually using cream. Oh, wow. It's really good. I wouldn't mind helping you out with that. You can get your own. <laughs> <laughs> well, the shake is done. We made quick work of that. Uh, who would you recommend this shake for? Um, anybody who likes ice cream shakes that uh -huh. like Oreo, things and cream. Um, it's kind of nice because it's not too chocolatey because it's like from the vanilla but with the chocolate yeah. You like chocolate, but not too chocolatey. And if you're looking for somebody that knows their ice cream and ice cream desserts and chocolate, uh, this is the person. So I would take that advice and run with it if I were you. That's good to take to the bank. Well, what a fantastic day this has been, or, or overnight here, staycation. I have really enjoyed it. How about you? It was awesome. The dinners, the food, the cool. drinks, the pool, of course, the highlight, the room was amazing. Um, yeah, I would say this is certainly an experience worth having, uh, especially if you're doing a touristy kind of trip. Not really a place to just stay as a place to stay, but a place to enjoy and enjoy the amenities of. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join us next time here on the Singapore Expat.